This video is about how to make a flower pot antenna. It's cheap, effective, and works well. My friend VK3CMC put me onto it. However, VK2IDL has a fantastic website that shows you all the measurements, dimensions, pictures, and more. And that's where I'm basing all my measurements from for the antenna I'm about to build. The first step is to work out which band you want the antenna to work on. The first step is to cut the outer shield off the coax according to the length of the antenna you're making. I put some heat shrink on the end to protect the weather from getting in. Now tie some fishing wire to the end of the coax so you can feed it through your pipe. You can, if you want, tie it in a tree. It doesn't have to be in a pipe. My antenna is for 6 metres, so I needed to create a coil down the bottom that is about 50 mil wide. So using a slightly bigger 50 mil pipe at the bottom, I fed the coax through that and then into the pipe that goes all the way to the top of the antenna. The long pipe, which is an electrician's pipe, I cut slightly longer than the cable inside the antenna and then tied it to the top using the fishing wire. This is how I attach the wider pipe to the electrician's pipe. So now I can make a coil around the 50 mil pipe. So this here is my finished product. As you can see, put nice white tape on the end here and the fishing line holds the antenna, which you can see down there, sort of. So the antenna's actually inside this pole. And uh, I've got the winds down the bottom here. I've got a bit of gap down the bottom here to attach it to the pole. And the coax actually had a plug on the end of it, so that was a bit of a bonus. Um, so when I put it up, sort of the wobble test isn't too bad. That's me moving it. There we go, that's pretty good. So hopefully that, uh, that should work well. Just time to test it now. As I already had the coax and the cable ties, the whole project only cost me $15. If you're going to use pipe like I did, make sure you try and flex it and shake it in the shop before buying. The last thing you want is a wobbly antenna. But now let's see if it works. So you go, there's my new antenna up on the roof. Certainly a lot lighter than the one I had. Thank you.